All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Survival Stories 3. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope that you're uh, chilled out and ready to watch some Minecraft. I'm doing fantastic my t myself. My my what was that? Myself. Myself. TH. I'm doing good myself. Just in the nether. Starting off here today, because we haven't really been here together, and I do go here quite often. Ooh, what are these? I do go here quite often to collect uh, quartz. We're going to need it for something we're going to do today. I am so... that was a viral... or... I am so excited for today, by the way. Um, last episode, we built the ore doubling facilities, or we... Uh, yeah, well, we kind of built it. We, I didn't quite finish it. Uh, <clears throat> didn't tell you in the episode that I had to go on the travels again, uh, but I actually had to go away for a few days after that episode. So this is me, like, literally two hours after I uh, last played, play Minecraft again. Usually in between episodes I play quite a bit, uh, but this time I haven't really played anything. So I haven't done anything more with, uh, with, with the ore doubling facility, but you guys seem to like it, so thank you for that. There were some very good suggestions coming out. Uh, in the comments as well, in regards of how we're going to move the ores uh, and how we're going to make it look cool. It involves uh, combining the whole putting ingots, ingots on the ground and using the minecarts to travel them out, which is great. Ooh, this is a chocolate dungeon in the nether and I am terrified, Gast! Don't! I'm terrified to go near it. Um, <clears throat> there was also a whole lot of discussions uh, in regards of the Twilight Forest, because I said that maybe we go to the Twilight Forest this time. Uh, and you guys said that we should do it together, me, Rendog, and Stress Monster. <clears throat> and there was one comment saying that, Iskal, you need to make sure that Rendog has some gear before you take him to the Twilight Forest. <laughs> Love the fact that it's my responsibility to make sure that we, we gear up Rendog. Um, I'm sure he can handle it himself, though, if I'm completely honest. Um... But yeah, I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to talk with the others and try and get like a a, a big cooperative uh, joined thing. One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be enough, I think. Uh, try and get a big cooperative thing uh, going, uh, where we can go to the to the to the twilight together. I'd like that. I'd like to make it into like a maybe a two three episode uh, long adventure journey. Today, though, we're going to do something different. As many times before, when I come up with ideas, I, I, I it's weird. I kind of just start this game and I, I go like, oh, I really want to do this today. So it's hard for me to plan out exactly what I want to do. You know what? I'm going to throw that. I'm going to throw you. Uh, with this quartz, we're going to grind it down. What's the most efficient way to get the nether quartz? Pulverizer. Sag mill? I think sag mill, because we don't have the crusher from IC... No, from Immersive Engineering, so let's do... Oh, no, that's not good. What did we do? Oh, yeah. Alloy Smelter. Um, so that gives us three. And if we pulverize it... We get... Two. Oh, okay, so that's how you do nether course, you smelt it down. Hello, guys. The thing is, before I went to the nether, yeah, oh, wow, okay, no, 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 no. Before I went to the nether, there was a blood moon happening. Thank you, creeper. Frick face. Thanks! And he's still alive, idiot. Oh, jeez. Mm. I love, I love the rocket creeper. Have I told you that I love the DN TNT creepers? If not, I do. Tell you that now. They keep destroying my base. Oh, that, that, that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. Okay, our base is anything but secure, so we need to we need to work on that one day. Um, yeah, where were I? That threw me off. Before I went to the Nether, there was a blood moon, so I decided to go to the Nether during the blood moon because I don't really like blood moons because of this. Yeah, it's just crazy. Um, I need to get better fighting gear as well. Anyway, what are we going to do today? You've probably already figured that out by looking at the description. No, but the, the, the topic of the video, the title. We're going to be working with... Um, 
Thermal Dynamics Player Viaduct, okay? Now check these out, I made a few. Turns out that they're super expensive, so uh, that's why we needed the quartz. Uh, let me show you. This, ladies and gentlemen, blew my mind when it came to this game, when it came to Thermal Dynamics. Um, we're gonna get very technical with this today, because I really want to get into this. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, then we go with our wrench. Boop. We go over here. Boop. Okay. Now there's a pipe. Now check this out. Right click. Ah. Ah, that's cool. Look at us. This is like a player transportation system. I think this was announced like a year ago. And I've been waiting for them to release this. For um, Is it... RW Tema that does it, I think. I've been waiting so long for RW Tema to release it, and he hasn't until now, or a week ago or so, where he released it. And now we have it, and now we gotta make use of it. We gotta make a system. If we take a look at our valley here, let's just fly up to the sky. I wanna make a system that kind of we have the road. That's fine. We have the road. That's for 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 uh, for us to to drive trucks and lorries on. Then we have our minecart system, which will wrap around from building to building, <coughs> eventually, and, and um, transport items. And then I want this player item, player duct thing, to kind of be pipes that runs like that, pipe like pipes like that that runs around the whole thing. So we got to make that happen today. I really want to get that up. Oh, jeez. It's not too bad, I guess. You see what I live with here? We need a magnite torch, badly. I hear you, spider. I don't know why you're attacking me, because it's freaking daytime! And by the way, I do have a sword somewhere, but yeah. <laughs> the problem with modern Minecraft, I, I don't know about you guys, but the problem with modern Minecraft is inventory. More than anything. It's so bad... Because you, you clear out your inventory, you're happy about it, and then you go and you kill one or two mobs and you fill up your freaking inventory again. Um, anyway, this is completely destroyed, so let's just get out of that floor before I get I, before I get crazy. Yeah, I want to go ahead and make like a system with these ducts. Now, <clears throat> to make these, there there are a few different. Let's go. Let's go into what we have here. We have the viaducts, which are the ones that we tested, these four that I have. We have the long-range viaduct, we have the long-range linking viaducts, and then we have the viaducts that are untreated. I thought that if we make these long-range viaduct, that's probably the best way to go because they're long-range. So I made a few of them, but I can't get these to work. Like, I can't open, <coughs> open the thing at the ends. So if you have any idea what I'm doing wrong, please do, ooh, please do tell, okay? What's happening here? I don't know if they're bugged or something, I have no idea. The viaducts though, however, I got working. The only problem is that these are very, very expensive. These are more expensive than the long range. Uh, and by the way, they don't connect. So I thought they connected as well. They look so cool as well. Uh, but they don't connect. But if we go into these, we can fi we'll find out that we first need to make the viaducts which are blasted or fused quartz, which is uh, burning quartz in the alloy smelter, which is why I got quartz. And then, cop uh, no, sorry, then we need electrum. Electrum is silver and gold. Uh, you combine it together and you get the grit. And yeah, like that, and then you smelt it up to ingots. Then we need to take them in a fluid transposer and we need to fill them with something called erothium dust. Erothium dust, what's that you say? Well, it's blitz powder, nitre, Sand and redstone. Um, this is all good, except for the blitz powder. The blitz powder, we get into this long, long, never-ending cycle of where to get things now. The blitz powder, we can either get from blitzes, which I have done. We need to capture blitz when we see it the next time, because then we can make a mob farm. Uh, but I also found that you can take sand and infuse it with redstone to get the blitz powder. So that may be how I want to do it now, to begin with. Um, long story short, there's a lot of infrastructure that we need in order to produce a lot of these. Niter, by the way, I think we get from just pulverizing things. Let's see what, what we get it from. Niter. Um, oh, we can we can use engineer's hamper on salt, Peter ore, which we don't have in this world, which is not generating in this pack. Uh, or we can get it from uh, pulverizing sandstone. Um... And that's about it, it seems. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. We ha I had a little bit of nitre anyway. I had 
yeah, okay, a few pieces, that's not much. And I did have some Blitz that I've been killing. Um, so basically, I need to get a lot of, like, I should really make a factory uh, that just creates this uh, the, the stuff that we're going to need. Hold on, let's do this. Is this shapeless or can we do that? No, there. I want to make a factory that basically creates the Aerothem dust. Because then what we do with it is we stick it in here. And that creates the Sephirian Aerothem. And then we need uh, to cook up some of this glass. So let's just do this. Um, we need this viaduct thing again. This is getting messy now. I'm sorry. We need some of this electrum and the, the, the things. And then we need to put them in here. To get the final product. And then we have four. So it's very, very expensive. I should really make a factory. For now though, I'm just going to go ahead and craft up as many as I can get without making a factory. And see how far we can get. Maybe, maybe we have to do the factory before we get into the fun part. But I want to try and connect that one building before we get into getting all the infrastructure and stuff. Uh, so basically, let's do this. Boop, boop, boop. And then let's take them, put them in, the, in here. And they will fill up and give us viaducts. It seems to be, yeah, it's 50 of this per thing. So it's not a lot of the erothium that we need, actually. Uh, which is a good thing. It's a good sign. Because then we don't need to stress totally about that at the moment. Uh, now let's just do this. Let's do a little bit of a longer run. Um, I'm thinking that we'll have these maybe come out of the side of the buildings. And then we'll build supports for them. Uh, I wonder if we can just come out mid-air. Let's try that. And then... Let's just get in this thing here. We need to right-click that. Then we need to right-click this. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll make them so that they go in and out of buildings. I think that's going to look super cool in the end. Look at that! Ooh! Oh, oh, oh. We're stuck in a block. Okay, so we need to make sure we clear the top block there. That is so cool! Look at us! We're Superman! Love it. I've quickly realized that uh, the thing that we're gonna run out of doing these things is the niter. Um, now, niter, the best way to get niter, let me just do this, boop boop, and we'll stick these in here, boop. Uh, niter and quartz, I should say. The best way to get niter, and the reason we need niter is again from this erythium dust. The best way to get niter, or saltpeter, is through grinding down blitz rods. Uh, and obviously that will give us blitz powder. So I think we need to head out for an adventure soon and find a blitz and then make a spawner in our XP or mob facilities. Um... That's, that's, that's at least what it looks like, and that's definitely like the best best way to get it, and it, it is the thing that I run out first. But anyway, after a lot of crafting, I've got myself a stack. <laughs> a stack of these. I should, I should probably do um, a factory for them first. But, as many times before, I really want to get into the whole decoration part of this thing. Um, and here's what I'm thinking. I, I, I was first considering, let's run these. Right, let's run these like so. All over the place. And we can make something cool wrap around them. And I was thinking something like this. Boop, boop. To kind of hold them in place. This block is cool, by the way. It's a technical block from Chisel. Um, I was thinking something like this. Right? Oops. Um, and... You know, that, that could look pretty cool. We'd have these every, I don't know, 10 blocks. And we'd add, add another layer of uh, skyline or whatever you want to call it to this. We have the rail cart. It goes on one level. We have the road on another. And have this up in the sky. Now, that looks cool. But the only problem I have with it is it's very, very blue. <laughs> like, this thing is very blue. And I, I'm worried that it will not fit. I don't know what you guys see. It looks very cool, don't get me wrong, I really like the look of it, but it's very blue. Now we could help it out, we could go like this. And over here maybe we'll wrap it. Let's just try this together, shall we? Uh, boop, 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 boop. This will kind of give that Futurama tube system look. Have that go down. Um, and we'd probably want to run it here. 
and here. And we could have sections of that, uh, and then sections of blue, but I, I still think it's going to be too blue. So I'm considering running it underground instead. Um, and there's one thing I wanted to try here. Let's do that first, maybe. Boop, boop, boop. What is that? Oh, that's the naming machine. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see, because I'm pretty sure... Uh, come on. Hello. Boop. It's a little bit buggy, it seems, this, this mod. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we can run and select a station. So let's do a test. Let's do... You go up here. And we'll right-click and we'll go config and we'll say... Uh, top out. <laughs> top out. We'll give it a... We can even give it a, an icon of Electrum, for example. We'll have this here and we'll call this... Yard... Out, maybe? I don't know. We'll give that a lasso. <laughs> That's what I added in my inventory. <clears throat> and then we'll come over here and we'll do... Uh, factory. We'll give it a hammer. Okay, so now when I right click... Yeah, look at that. I can select. So if I go top out, I should go up. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I just love these. Okay, let's go here and let's go factory. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's what I was hoping. I was pretty sure that was, was the way it works. So we can basically do different stations. Let's just see so we can have endless of these. Let's do another one here. Let's call this test. Torch or test. 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 Go inside. Test. Turn left. Nice. Okay, I love that. Um, but I think it's going to be... I'm not sure though. I think it's going to be very messy if we run it overground is the problem. So, I'm thinking, let's do this underground. And you may think, what? What? You get these cool item ducts and you don't get to, to see the surroundings. Well, we could make a really cool looking tunnel, couldn't we? So let's do that. Let's, 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 let's consider something here. I dug a hole... Right here, and ooh, wow, I'm very laggy, it feels like. Is there a block here somewhere? Yeah, that was a dirt block that I got stuck in. Okay, um, let's consider this. Let's have a system underground at Y level 58, and we'll dig out a tunnel here. Um, and I'm even considering blowing out a tunnel because I kind of want an organic look, and we'll build this as part of the sewer system that I've been talking about that was suggested by you guys. Okay, so let's get some TNT quickly. All right, I got 49 uh, pieces of TNT crafted up. I've dug out a little bit of a tunnel here. I don't know if you can see it or if it's too dark. Boop, torch. Uh, but basically the idea is we'll just blow this out. And again, the reason I wanted to use TNT is just try and make it look a little bit more... Organic. I don't know. I'm just trying to feel like Etho, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not good at TNT, but I'm going to place it like so. And whenever you get the chance to blow something up, you guys know what we say. If you get a chance to blow something up, you should really take that chance. And it's been a long time since I used TNT. I don't know if this will be big enough. Um, we'll do this and let's just... How much longer? Ooh. Let's just quickly place these. All right, there we go at the end. Light that and hopefully we get a nice blown out tunnel. Ouch, ouch. Wow, that sounds so cool with this whole audio mod that we have. I really like that. Yeah, now we have... <laughs> that's just one TNT block. Wow, the amount of blown out that it makes. Um, but yeah, the cool thing with this tunnel now is that it looks looks kind of like organic. Uh, now, we want to come inside here and we want to start designing this. Um, and I should have maybe thought about a little bit of a, of a plan. But I'm thinking we should use the... Uh, let's just get out of here because it's dark. Oh, it's dark time outside as well. Um... But let's let's see. Let's go shreepy shreepy first. Shreepy poops. Um, I'm thinking we'll we'll kind of make it look organic in the way that it's been it's been a cave that's been drilled out by like a, a mechanical drill. But we will use we'll like reinforce it and stuff is what I'm thinking. So let's just try and plan something quickly. Hempcrete, concrete. Yeah, I think that's good. And did I bring any wedges? I did. Okay. Um, 
tunnels in modern Minecraft, or in any Minecraft, even in vanilla. But I just love making tunnels. And I should have brought some light source things. What is the thing over here? Oh, it's a cave. I'll borrow you, dear, dear torch, because I'm that poor. Okay, let's place you there. Um, I'm thinking we'll go kind of like, we'll make beams. Like I saw. And we'll leave, I don't know, one, two, three. Come over here. And we'll do something like that. And we could then, hmm, let's see, what do we want to do? Like, let's try this. And why is the server... Look at that, it's so laggy here today. I need to restart it probably. Um, and we'll make it look like something like this. We don't have to overdo it. And I kind of want to keep the stony blown up background. Um, and the cool thing with these player tubes again is that you actually see where you travel, right? So as we travel through this, uh, we kind of want these, maybe we want to space them out. Maybe we also want to do something like this. Uh, ooh, that's... <laughs> That's annoying. Let's take this down here. Let's just get this right. Boop. Boop. I don't know if you guys were looking at that before I saw it, but anyway. Uh, do something like that, and then we would take this out, that out. Just to keep the interest flowing as you kind of fly through these is what I'm thinking. Uh, and then this could be the start of our sewer system, so we could have su our sewer being visible here. Um, it's the plan, anyway. Um, I'll, I'll work out a design on that. Then what I'm thinking is, if we go back here, from the building, so we'll have a tube coming out of all the buildings that we can travel to, and right here we're gonna go there, and we'll kind of just, wow, it's really laggy though. Hold on, I may need to restart the whole thing here immediately. Um. I get this lag sometimes on this server, and I don't know, I think it's a setting, because I don't think I have any restart cycles on it, so I think it just catches up memory, um, and by doing that, we get lag. But yeah, we'll have the tube coming down there, and you guys know what I should have done? I should have opened it so I could have traveled back, and then we'll run the tube down here. And I'm not sure if we want to do like twists and bends where we don't need to, just to keep it even more interesting. Something that I got to work out. Um... But, if we now go back up, with our super pickaxe. Uh, we will be able to do something like this. Boop, 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 boop. Like that, and make it look like this tube is truly coming out of the building, which is actually... You know, it's gonna it's gonna come out of the building, but you, you, you know what I mean. Um, and we could even, if we wanted to, let's remove these. We could even go and, like, cover it up properly if we wanted to. So we could do this full thing look like a pipe. Uh, or we could leave it open. Or we could do both. So we could have maybe this here. And that already looks pretty cool, I think. Oh, I like that. And then when it goes down to the ground, what we can do is this to kind of add... Doing doing these things kind of add a lot of uh, structure to the builds if you do this yourself. So to have that, that, go around, like so. And boop, 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 boop. Stone block, go there. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> that looks weird. But something like that is what I'm thinking. I'm having loads of fun just going back and forth in this viaduct thing. Um, I've been building a little bit on the tunnel, getting a little bit of a style a going. Um, and I'm trying to all, all the time go back and forth in this because it's so fun. No, because I'm trying to get, trying to get a view of it. Um, here's what we got so far. I saw this picture. <clears throat> I googled something like industrial power carriage tunnel or something like that um, in real life and I saw these tunnels that I, I think I've seen before in like Discovery Channel um, basically tunnels that carries like pipes and stuff and that's what I want to go for this is however too dark so I was gonna try something here um, let's try and go with carpenter blocks hmm is that gonna be too high up maybe let's do this boop 
I wanted to use these lanterns uh, and see if we can get that to look good. Then maybe fill it in with that. I don't know if I like that, honestly. Um, because when you travel in a tunnel, by the way, gotta say, tunnels are so fun <laughs> to build in this game. Why do I have such a passion uh, for building tunnels? I have no idea. Um, anyway, when you travel in a tunnel, what you need is like... Uh, diversity, something that makes it feel like you're actually going forward. Because if you just make them straight, then it's not going to feel like you're going forward at all. So maybe we go with that. I, I didn't like this though. Maybe we may have to go with another texture there. Um, oh yeah, I was going to try this here. That could look better. A little bit of a different color um, while still sticking in the same contrast. Um, I don't know if I love the lamps though. I kind of want this black. Anyway, I was then thinking that we could run my favorite column things from scaffolding along like so. And this will just add depth to the whole thing. And I did consider whether or not... Yeah, look at that, by the way. That looks great. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Um, I was considering if I were to put or if I should put like a wall behind here uh, to cover up the, the stone... But I'm not sure. I kind of, as I said, I kind of like the organic feel. What I may do, though, if I keep the organic feel, is remove, like, all the ore blocks and dirt and just have stone um, all the way through, possibly. But this would be another option. Um, and what else? Yes, I'm going to run a main power line. Now, remember, we spoke about power usage in the last episode. We spoke about them power lines from immersive engineering. Um, and... <clears throat> there was a lot of suggestions in the comments saying about that I had done it wrong, I needed a converter, they could only carry power for so and so long, etc, etc. So thank you so much for, for, for telling me, because I had no idea. Um, what I'm planning on doing though is using them, but having like a station for them at each building. And then having a main power line running in these tunnels, uh, connecting all the power up from the power plant. Uh, and I'm using, this is the 800 RF per tick. One from Thermal Expansion, mostly because it looks cool, I think. And I don't know if we'll be able to see it once we're in the two, but I'm thinking of running it like that. Um, but I'm going to have to upgrade this to a, to a better one as we progress. It's not going to be enough. Creeper, I see you. Where's my bow? There. Uh, it's not going to be enough forever. But that kind of looks cool. So let's just <laughs> do this again. Oh yeah, we can see it. Fantastic. All right. What I really want to see, though, is as we come down, how it looks. But look at how amazing this is! Oh, if you haven't used these yet, ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to use them because they're amazing. Yeah, I kind of like that power cable and I like the lanterns as well. And I like these. These made a lot of difference because they are different uh, thickness. So they kind of give it the, the roundish feel that I want. Hi, tunnel. How are you? I've done some more on it. And I'm really starting to like it. Um, I changed out the lanterns from Immersive Engineering. I went for these cage lamps from Blue Power. And I think they look very good. Uh, did columns here instead of fences. And I just made it a little bit longer. Now we have a big question to answer. Um, and that is... Shall I go ahead and do this for a background? You see this block here. Let me show you. Uh, we go, we take this, and we take the layer behind these columns or bars or whatever you want to call them, and we change them out, just like so. Um, I think that looks great. I don't know if the stone makes sense in front of it. This is a different scenario where they are at the same level as this. I think it's better if they're behind this level, though. Um, but I don't know. I, I, Kind of really wanted to go organic, and then I put this up by accident on the wrong one, like here, and I, I instantly fell in love with it. I think it could look cool if the stone is in front of it, but I don't know if it makes sense. And this is kind of, I'm kind of at a stage with this now where I kind of want to ask the audience, you know, you guys press the, press the, the thermometer thing. No, I was trying to be funny doing uh, who wants to be a millionaire. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to see what you guys say about that. But I think that looks really good. We may have to go less stony though. Uh, if we do that. 
I like this texture very much. But yeah, I think the tunnel is coming along great. I like the cage lamps. I like the kind of feel we get when we fly through it, which is good. Very important. I still haven't exchanged. Regardless of what we do, I don't want any dirt or anything. So I'd, I'd go and I'd do that and this. And yeah, you get the point. Go ahead and exchange all of these out. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I need to get more viaducts done. So I don't know. Uh, we have so many things that we got to do in this series and I've been a little bit reluctant previously in this series on doing like basic infrastructure modded stuff because there are so many series that covers it but I'm finding a hard time um, like finding playtime to do that on my own without recording it if you know what I mean so I may we may run like a three like a mini series streak hello Zombert it's a little bit dangerous down here as well we may run a little bit of a mini series streak where we go and we um, just run like a three series in a row infrastructure. We get applied logistics up, uh, we get a couple works up and all that stuff. But we'll see. Let me know what you think about this tunnel because this is going to do it for today. I have no more viaducts. Um, I'm going to continue and dig out or blow out uh, things and see what you think about the stone. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. It means everything. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next episode.